Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth is against whatever is standing in your way. We're going to be very brief this evening. Hallelujah. We're going to be very strategic. And as part of our strategy, we're aiming toward not necessarily being long, but just being fervent and effectual. I just want to remind individuals, by the way, before we get started, that there is an opportunity coming on Friday, April 14, for people who are in need of deliverance to be healed and delivered. Do not be in New York and you are being tormented by demons, you cannot sleep at nights, and you don't show up, and then you're calling for deliverance. Don't let it be that you're living in Maryland and you hear of this opportunity, yet you don't come. Don't let it be that you're living in New Jersey and you're also being plagued by demons. Things are biting you and are crawling on your skin. If you can make, hallelujah, the time of day to see everybody else and to do everything else, I believe that if you are truly desperate for your healing, you will make it to the service. There are many of us, we will take trips and we will go all over the place on vacations. We'll take trips to go to parties. We'll take trips to visit people we should not be visiting in the first place. And if we can make those sacrifices to worship the devil and to get ourselves bound, I believe that we can do the same thing. For many of us, we don't have a problem when we have to give our bosses or our employers an excuse for not showing up on the job. We find all these different reasons for handing in a sick leave or for asking for time. We ask for time when we want to take a trip to Mexico. We ask for time when we want to go hang out with our friends. And we ask for time for other things. When it comes on to your healing, if you're truly in need of your healing and your deliverance, you will do the same. Hallelujah. If you really want to be healed, then you will be there, especially if you're up north. Whether you're in Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, hallelujah. Wherever you are in this area, Maryland, you name it. If you are really in need of healing, then you will find yourself at Casa Royal on the 14th of April. That's Friday coming. Hallelujah for a powerful night of healing and deliverance. You will not get delivered over the phone. It's not going to happen. Especially if you are more than able to make it. We can fool everybody else, but we cannot fool the living God. We will make sacrifices to do other things. Why can't we make the same for God? We'll make sacrifices to pay the voodoo man and the voodoo woman. And to pay all manner of people to give us all these potions and mixtures to put on our skins and to rub up, rub up. Which further put us in a state of bondage. So why can't we make a sacrifice for the living God? And when we are healed indeed, why can't we even worship God with, with our gifts? Even as I mentioned that. A lot of us in Jamaican terms, this is how I would put it. You take God for fool. You take him for fool. You take him for a real fool. We think that we are messing with God, but I'm here to say to someone, you're only messing with yourself. You think you are spiting God, but you're only spiting your own self. And all those excuses that we think God is not aware of, him see it long time. You know what to do when you want to go visit the man's house. You know what to do when you want time off to go see that individual, to spend time with that person. So likewise, you should know what to do to get time off to come in the presence of God to get your deliverance. Many of us, we want to come up with all these excuses. Oh, I can't be there. I am this. I am that. 
You think you're fooling me? Who do you think you're fooling? And who do you think you're hurting? Your own self. Your own self. Hallelujah. Tell two people, if you can do it for others, you must can do it for God. If you can make sacrifices for others, you must can make sacrifice for God. If you can make the time to see others, you must can make the time to see God for your own good. For your own good. For your own good. How is it that we would go high and low and however we need to go to get the sick leave or the six weeks off? Hallelujah. So as to treat a wound or so as to go through a surgery experience but we cannot ask for one day to come in the presence of God and this is how we know that God gives us according to what is in our heart and he rewards us according to our works if we come to him with trickery and if we come to him with lies and deceit he will reward us likewise Whatever we sow, we will reap. Amen? We can fool man and we can even fool ourselves, but we cannot fool the living God. God cannot be mocked. If you're serious about getting healed, then if I were you, I would tell myself that desperate people do desperate things. There are some people's healings and deliverance that occur over the phone because they have the faith to receive over the phone which is how the ministry got started thanks be to God but many of you you know that the phone thing doesn't work for you perhaps your faith is not yet at that level you need to be there in person as I've said before after this I'll be announcing where we're going to be next hallelujah and it will be very far from New York Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. As you join family, you know exactly what to do, and that is to hit that share button that is at the bottom of the video. Glory to God. Sister Marilyn, as you join, you know what to do. Dorothy, make sure you're hitting that share button and the like button as well. Tani, thank you for joining. Tracy, it's good to have you. Natasha, it's good to have you. Empress, it's good to see you. Patricia, Annette, Marvelyn, Shellan, it's good to have you. Hope Lynn, it's good to have you. Uh, as you join, there is a share button below the video. Make sure you're hitting that button and make sure as you join, you are liking the broadcast as well so that it will populate on someone's feed. Perhaps what I'm going to be talking about tonight is going to speak to whatever the person is going through, to exactly what that individual is going through we're going to be very brief tonight but of course as usual we're going to be very powerful as we allow the holy spirit to guide us and as we allow him to inspire our words and our prayers hallelujah glory to god i'm going to ask us to stand hallelujah as many of you as possible who have already joined please stand with me right now hallelujah as we enter this very powerful time of intercession Margaret, I greet you in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If anyone knows about Shadeen, the first thing that you will know is that she is a woman of prayer. She loves to pray. This ministry began with prayer. Hallelujah. I pray about everything. Glory to God. That is who I am. It is my nature. If you were to come across like any of my colleagues, hallelujah, uh, people with whom I have worked, and especially since I've become a Christian, if you ask them secretly about my lifestyle, they'll tell you this one thing about Shadeen Anglin that she is a woman who loves to pray. Oh, glory to God, I love to pray because I've gotten to understand the impact of prayer. I've gotten to understand the effectiveness of prayer. Hallelujah. And having, having rather 
benefited from hallelujah prayers glory to God of course I'm going to utilize prayers to my advantage and whenever and wherever I see it necessary hallelujah are fit to be used glory to God we're going to worry not about things but we're going to pray about everything glory to God and so I'm gonna ask you as you join make sure you're hitting that share button those of you who are on Facebook hallelujah I'm waiting for a few more of you to join before we delve into the meat of the matter sister Carly make sure you're sharing Joshua as you join make sure you're doing the same thing hallelujah glory to God remember if you're no longer getting the notifications make sure you're turning on the notification bell I believe if you swipe up on your smart devices you should see a bell somewhere hallelujah and you will know whether or not the bell is turned on if there's a stroke going through it it means your notification is off you may want to turn it off by clicking that button and then you will no longer see that stroke going through the bell hallelujah if you're watching on youtube remember you gotta hit that subscription button as well and even as the holy spirit puts it in my spirit as we are preparing for yonkers on friday as usual i'm going to ask those individuals who would like to volunteer at the service to please send a whatsapp message to plus one eight seven six three one nine five one six three and you're going to type volunteer uh, in the message title so the first word that I want to see when you text hallelujah is volunteer and then after that you're going to put your name glory to God and then of course having accumulated uh, a number of volunteers information then we will have a little talk oh glory to God so make sure you Identify yourselves if you are interested in volunteering at the Yonkers Encounter. We really need people who will help us to get the work done. Hallelujah. We need servants and especially people who are filled with the Holy Ghost. Those of you who were at Brooklyn, if you can make it at Yonkers, hallelujah, to volunteer there as well, then we would greatly appreciate it. Again, please make sure you're sending those messages indicating your interest to plus one eight seven six four three three seven two seven two or eight seven six three one nine five one six three the latter is the preferred number for this purpose amen so let me tell you what has inspired me for tonight's broadcast so I had a dream I had a dream this morning and I want to tell you this dream because I feel very much like even as I'm going to be praying for myself, I feel like it is exactly what someone is going through. And so I decided to pray in this context so that the prayers can actually benefit you who are going through a similar situation. I don't know why the Lord showed this to me, but what I'll say to you is, one of the benefits of being at the feet of Christ is that whenever weapons are being formed in the spirit against you, wherever they are, the Holy Spirit will show you these weapons, allowing you to get the advantage over the enemy. Okay? So there are some people who are at a place with God where whenever something new comes up immediately, the Holy Ghost exposes them. And if the person is an intercessor or a prayer warrior, hallelujah, then they will know how to shoot down those missiles through prayer and intercession. So let me share with you what I saw uh, briefly in this scene, which stood out to me. So in this particular dream, in this scene, I saw where uh, I was supposed to join a line to go somewhere. It's, it's as though I was supposed to go to a desk um, to conduct some kind of business or something. It wasn't clear exactly the nature of what was supposed to be done, but based on the setting of the thing, clearly it was a professional setting. And, you know, when you talk about professionalism, you're talking about a setting where you know, you have to hand over documents or, you know, you're going to be interviewed by whoever is behind the counter that I saw, etc. Now, I saw other people there, okay? 
and it's as though I was with someone and we were heading toward the line because there was a line to get to wherever the main counter was, which was, as I said, the area where you're either going to be processed or interviewed or something. I don't remember exactly what that area was for. I guess the Holy Spirit wasn't uh, emphasizing that part. I guess the part that he wanted to emphasize is, is the part that stands out to me is and that I'm going to share with you just now. So as we were walking now to get to the back of the line, okay, there was a, a long line. And as we were walking to get toward the back of the line, I saw what looked like an opening. And immediately I came up with this brilliant idea. Okay, I said, let us go through here because it was like a shortcut, in other words. So it's not that we were going to breach the line. The, the setting is of such that it's like they had different, different, uh, what you call it, sections. And this line thing that we saw, it wasn't a case where in the dream, if you intercepted or something that there was going to be a problem, there wasn't such thing. I didn't get that feeling in the dream. In fact, when I saw the opening, clearly the reason the opening was there was because it was acceptable for people to get to the same place by going through that opening. So when I saw the opening and realized that we didn't have to go all the way around to join the line to get to where we wanted to go, but we could just go through this little opening at the side, which a lot of people didn't quite see. When we made a step toward going through it, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, out of nowhere came what? A big old spider web, okay? Not only was there a spider web, but the devil already knows this about me. Hold on one second. I don't think I put this on. Do not disturb. Give me one second. Yes. The devil knows that me and Nancy are not friends. The devil knows that me and spiders are not friends. I did not see a spider web when I first glanced this opening it was open it was fine but the moment I was stepping through there goes this spider web presented before me and not only that there was a spider on the web okay and this spider was acting viciously it's, it's as though this spider was fighting. He was in his web. But he was, he was acting wild. Okay? And of course, Shadeen goes scream. Because in reality, if I see a spider, me scream, me, me run gone long time. Me I left everything. And just like it is in the natural, when I saw this spider... I just started to scream in the dream because I'm telling you, I hate spiders, bad. Ask me if I kill a lizard, God forbid. I prefer to kill a lizard than a spider. Not that I like lizards, you know, but I'd be more content being in a house knowing that there's a lizard there than a spider. Me not stay with no spider. Me not kill no spider either. I want coward lick mega lick and run. That's me. So coming out of the dream, I started to ponder the dream because now my spirit man wanted the understanding. And while I saw many other things and other scenes, this is the part that the Lord wants me to share so that it can be of benefit to those of you who are probably faced with this very situation. Here is the interpretation. Remember I told you about this long line? Remember I told you that there was a long way to get to where we were gonna go? 
And then I mentioned how as we were walking toward the long way, we saw that there was a shortcut, a shorter way. Remember how I told you that at first there was no spider web, but the moment I got close, all of a sudden a spider web appeared. And remember how I told you there was this spider and the spider looked angry. He was fighting. He was acting up. Now, there are some of us who the enemy would have so had it that every time you are supposed to attain certain things in life, he ensures, he makes it his point of duty, okay, to ensure that you're always having to go through the thing the long way. And of course, the long way sometimes, and as the name suggests, it takes forever. Because while you are having to go the long process, hallelujah, there are some people who are walking through those shortcuts that are there. And like I said in the dream, there was no indication or feeling that there was something illegitimate about the shortcut. It was just as, hallelujah, approved, acceptable, and legitimate as the long way. But just so that he can delay you, Satan would always make sure that you never see the shortcut. You never see the short way to get the thing done. Hallelujah. Just so he might keep you back. Just so he might keep you delayed for days, weeks, or months. Hallelujah. He makes sure that even if you get word that, you know, Shanique, you can do this instead. Marva, you don't have to do it that way. You can do this way instead. Even when you become aware of another way to get the thing done. Behold, there goes your spider web. Behold, there goes your suddenly appearance of a web. And a spider trying to jump at you or fight you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When everybody else was going through the web, perhaps they didn't see no spider. Perhaps no spider appeared. But when it was your turn, and this is something that you probably have been experiencing time and time again. When it comes to you, for some reason, my God, processes that pertain to you are always taking longer than usual. Things that you set your mind toward are always taking forever. You're always having to spend more. And because, as I said, it's a long way, sometimes the reason the process becomes long is because you do the thing and you hear, oh, there are mistakes, so you have to do it over again. And when you do it over and you think it's right, hallelujah, perhaps there is yet another mistake. And sometimes to correct these errors, you have to pay money. So while the process is being delayed, not only are you being delayed, but you're spending more than the ordinary person. Why is that? Is there any such person who's listening to me tonight? Because we're going to be confronting those webs and spiders. Hallelujah. Whatever is stopping you from accessing the shorter way like everybody else. Whatever keeps blocking you. Hallelujah. Preventing you from entering through like everybody else. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm here to say the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The blood of Jesus. The dripping blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth will speak for you through prayer tonight. The dripping blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth 
will protest for you tonight in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, hallelujah, will raise up a standard for you tonight in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. What is it that is standing in your way? Is it a spider? Is it a web that the witch somewhere has put up? What is it? Is it a lizard that always comes before you in your dreams? Is it a big snake that always manifests in your dreams? What is it that keeps appearing? What is it that keeps showing up? We're going to deal with those things tonight through prayer in the name of Jesus. So here's how I want us to approach this time of prayer. Because we're reminding ourselves about the efficacy of the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The efficacy and the potency of the blood of Jesus. I want every child of God right now to get your holy communion. We're going to take the communion and then we're going to fire up some prayers. Hallelujah. So I want you to grab a piece of bread or cracker and I want you to also get your symbol or representation of the blood of Jesus. Whether you want to use grape juice, cranberry, sorrel, whatever you have. And if you have no juice, we can do water. Hallelujah. But I'm going to give you 60 seconds or so to just quickly gr uh, grab these emblems. Hallelujah. Bread or cracker. Hallelujah. Water or grape juice. Water or cranberry, water, or sorrel, whatever you have to represent the blood of Jesus. Quickly grab these things. Once you have them in hand, hallelujah, just type in the comments section, I have my communion. Now, remember, the Holy Communion is for those people who are born again in Jesus Christ of Nazareth. They've accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Many of you have accepted Jesus Christ through this broadcast. You have not yet gotten the opportunity to take your water baptism, but you are saved. You too can take your Holy Communion. Hallelujah. Now, I don't have any grape juice, so I'm going to drink this, representing the blood. And I have my piece of bread here. Okay. Hallelujah. Sister Tiffany, thank you so much for watching. Nikkei, good to have you. Alicia, good to see you. Kareen, Shauna, good to have you as well. Nessa, good to have you. Deborah, Joan, Latoya, glory to God. Monica, thank you so much. Remember to hit that share button as you join. Jeline, remember to hit share as you join. Make sure you're hitting that like button as well. We're doing this because I am sure there is a man somewhere who needs to hear the prayers we're going to pray tonight. I'm sure there's a woman somewhere who needs to benefit from the prayers of intercession that we'll be doing tonight. Leslie Ann, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining. Once you have communion in hand, just type communion in hand in the comments so that I may know when to start praying. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Someone is asking, can I use bun? I would prefer if you would use something that doesn't have any sugar in it. But if that's all you have, fine. Fine. Hallelujah. But the preferred thing to use is something with um, flour that doesn't have any sweetness to it. Amen. But just like me, I got to use what I have. Glory to God. This is some kind of juice. Hallelujah. I could do water, but it doesn't matter. Hallelujah. Sheila has her communion in hand. Desreen has her communion in hand. Okay. Just raise up those glasses and those breads right now. Right now.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to, for a moment, just reflect on Jesus Christ. Even as we are reflecting on the crucifixion experience, last evening he would have been nailed to the cross. I want you to imagine all that blood, hallelujah, all that blood that dripped from his hands, his feet, his side, his forehead from the crown of thorns, hallelujah, makira basataya, the blood, rekanda basakaya, because you're going to need it tonight, you're going to need to understand its power tonight, so for a moment begin to see the Lord Jesus, Hallelujah. See him on the cross. And remember why he went there. It's for you. It's for you. It's so that you can have victory over spiders that are coming to intercept you. Hallelujah. Webs that are appearing out of nowhere to prevent you. Whatever the creatures are that are trying to block you. Sekaya, remember why he went to the cross. It's to give you victory. Shenama Sataya Kata Shikayaba Soto. Hallelujah. Glory to God. A few more seconds. Just see him. Just see him. See his wounded hands. See the blood. See the blood. See the blood of Jesus. See the blood. Hallelujah. See the blood. See the blood. Hallelujah. For 60 more seconds, just reflect on Jesus. Hallelujah. Reflect on what he said just before he gave up the ghost. Hallelujah. He said, Eli. Eli, Lama Sabachthani, Father, Father, why hast thou forsaken me? Hallelujah! That is the moment when sin was judged. That moment when he felt for the first time disconnected from his father shikamai kariendo kosoto reba sataya le kana katurianda kaseke for 30 odd years this man was always with his father never felt separated from his father was always in oneness with his father but on this day after some 33 years on this very day for the first time in his lifetime, for the first time ever, this flesh through Jesus was going to feel separated and indeed Shekayaba Sata was because it was the moment of judgment for sins. That was the moment when the fornication that you could possibly, hallelujah, carry out in your life was judged. That's the moment when your lies and your deceits were judged. That's the moment when the dishonesty and the trickery, hallelujah, that you would have carried out in your life was judged. That is the moment when your pride was judged. That was the moment, hallelujah, glory to God. When sicknesses and diseases were judged, that is the moment, hallelujah. Shebayarat sata, me kuriana kati, oppression was judged that's the moment pain and torment was judged that is the moment hallelujah untimely death was judged that is the moment he said father father why have you forsaken me for the first time Jesus was separated for the first time, he was feeling as though it was he alone 
Because the father was not in this judgment. The father was the one judging. The father was the one in the judgment seat. Jesus was the one being judged for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For gossiping. For backbiting. For speaking all manner of things. For criticizing. For slandering. For rumor mongering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For stealing. For manipulating the system in order to get more incentives. Hallelujah. For interfering with people's monies. For breaking your promises. For making all those lovely vows that you never kept. For saying I do to a woman or I do to a man. And for no reason you're telling the person you want a divorce. That was the moment. Hallelujah. When your sins were being judged. That was the moment. Hallelujah. When he felt most separated slash disconnected from the father. That was the moment. Hallelujah. Sin was judged. Hallelujah. Not just the sins of those who were there who believed. But the sins of those who were not yet there. In one of Jesus' teachings, he said unto his disciples that the thing that he was about to do was not just for that flock, but for a flock that was to come. And we happen to be a part of the futuristic flock, hallelujah, to whom he made reference at the time. We are included Hallelujah. In the redemptive plan and work of God through Christ. All those who believe, he says, shall be saved. If you believe in me, hallelujah, you shall be saved. Hallelujah. Do you believe in him? Do you believe in him? Because I want to blow your mind a little bit more. How many of us know that oftentimes when the scripture talks about you being saved, it's speaking of a word called sozo. And that word does not just mean salvation, but it's a word that means healing as well. So when Jesus talks about saving you, he's not even just speaking about saving your soul from damnation, but he's speaking of healing you as well. Now something very powerful happened on the cross. When Jesus said those words, Lama, Lama, and he gave up the ghost. The Bible says, and as a matter of fact, he also said these words, it is finished. How many of us remember? Do you remember when he said it is finished? And I think it's after he said it is finished that he breathed his last on the cross. The Bible says that the veil of the temple was rent. Was rent. There was a blockage in the temple. It was a curtain, but now we can interpret it as somewhat of a blockage. Because it separated the furniture, all the other furniture of the temple from the Ark of the Covenant which represented the presence of the Lord. Only once per year the high priest had access to that area behind the curtain. So we can safely say it was somewhat like a blockage. There was an, a, a limitation there. 
It was a restricted area behind there. But the Bible says that when Jesus, hallelujah, finished the work on the cross, the veil, that blockage was removed. And we are here to say, if indeed we're in Jesus Christ and he is in us, as we drink of his blood and eat of his bread, then we are standing in the power and privileges afforded to us through the blood and through his body represented by the bread. When the blood was dripped and he finished the work, access was granted. Blockage was no more. Blockage was ripped apart and moved out of the way. So I don't understand why spiders should be in my way. I don't understand why lizards should be in my way. I don't understand why any four-legged creature or crawling creature should be in my way. If there is really the blood of Jesus. So I'm not going to sit here and allow spiders and cobwebs to prevent me from enjoying those things that secular people ungodly people godless people are enjoying why should the child of God have it the hard way all the time huh and I'm not talking about a situation where shortcut draws blood as we would say it in Jamaica I'm saying to you that there are some processes that don't have to be as long as the enemy makes them seem to be sometimes it's because of his snares why you are having to take so long to get through because you know what people have applied after you and they have gotten through people have paid their monies after you and they have been called so I don't want no devil tell me no foolishness in my ears. Are you hearing me? There are people who are calling me and who have said, I have started my process, for instance, of filing for so-and-so. Three years now, and I've not heard anything. And there are people who started them process just two months ago, six months ago. And they've gotten calls, don't you see? Can't you see that there might be a web in your way? Can't you see there might be a furious spider in your way? And do you not realize that there is something wrong with you having to find these monies to redo things? You don't realize that the enemy is in a subtle way interfering with your finances? He has P and T paying the monies one time and are getting through one time. But as for you, he has you paying the same money all 10 times already and you still don't get through. You don't see something wrong. You don't think something is wrong. You don't think something is wrong. But I thank God for the blood of Jesus. Because I remember that when the blood was shed and the work was finished, access was granted. Access was granted to my breakthrough. Access was granted to my deliverance. Access was granted to my mobilization. Access was granted to everything that is needed for me to move and to make progression and strides. Access was granted. Not only to the Father through intimacy, but through everything and every benefit that comes from his hands. We have to understand access was given to us. So what kind of devil through spider now is trying to block access? 
unless there wasn't a blood of Jesus. Raise those glasses and your bread. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you've given us this charge to eat of your body and drink of your blood as often as we can in remembrance of you and the New Testament afforded to us through the work of the cross. I thank you that this, your body, gives life, gives healing. This, your body, which was broken. Hallelujah. It reminds us of the covenant that we have with you. You said, if we abide in you, whatsoever we ask of you, Lord, Whatsoever we ask of the Father in your name, you will do it. So that the Father might be glorified in the Son. So Father, we bless this bread which represents the body of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. It's a body that was already bruised, so we don't have to be bruised because of our situations today. It's a body that was already broken, so we don't have to be broken by the trials of life today. Hallelujah. So, Father, we bless this bread. And we decree and declare that it's holy. Whatever the people have in their hands representing your body, whether they have bread or cracker. Someone said bun earlier. If that's all they have, you know, Lord, I bless each man's bread right now in the name of Jesus hallelujah let the power hallelujah that exuded from the work the finished work hallelujah at Calvary even on that day hallelujah be released when we eat of this bread tonight hallelujah So that when we open up our mouths. So that when we regurgitate those things you have taught us through scripture. As we confront our enemies through spiders, through lizards, through snakes, through pigs, through cows, through owls, through patus, my God. There will be total defeat. Total defeat. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I want us to for a moment just rest. The blood. We have not yet prayed over the blood. But I want us to break the bread. We thank you again Lord. I decree. The bread is holy. Let's eat. In the name of Jesus, Father, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight concerning the emblem that represents your blood right now. In you is life. 
the scripture tells us too in Leviticus, the life is in the blood. <laughs> Father, as we lift up what represents the blood of Jesus Christ, in whom is the ultimate life. We ask now, Lord, that as this blood touches our vessels, as this blood touches our temples, that not only will you bring healing to all those who believe right now, but we ask that you'll give us such might, strength, such power right now, that when we open up our mouths and command spider webs to be torn down from before us and locked doors to be unlocked in the spirit that the work will be done immediately cause our prayers to be effective right now Lord Release, hallelujah, through your spirit, the dunamis power of the Holy Ghost as we pray after drinking, Lord. Let it be that when we open our mouths through prayer, hallelujah, there'll be strong wavelengths and frequencies of your power going out in the atmosphere. strong enough to penetrate the water domain the air and all those things that constitute the cosmic reality above us cosmic powers hallelujah cosmic weapons cosmic missiles Lord let there be such power from your blood that everything that has us taking the long route all the time and being more and more delayed let it be that those things will be rolled away from us finally in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree that this, your water, your emblem representing Christ is holy right now, is sanctified right now, shall bring healing and certainly deliverance to your body and to your situation as you believe this is holy the blood of Jesus Christ before you is holy is holy drink by faith hallelujah and make sure you're standing because we're now going to go into prayer Stretch out your hands. Stretch out your hands. Begin to see those spider webs in front of you. Begin to see those gates and doors and padlocks in front of you right now. Stretch your hands toward them. What is it that you've been seeing? What is it that keeps showing up every time you're supposed to have a big moment in life? What, what is it that keeps showing up? What is it? Is that bat? Is that an owl? What is it? What have you been seeing? Hmm? Is that rat? Begin to see whatever you have been seeing. Is that hole? 
What is it? Is it a bird? Somebody says they've been seeing birds. Somebody says ants. So, oh, dog. What about dog? That's a big one. Is that dog? Is that pit bull that always shows up? Huh? What is it? See the thing now and stretch your hands toward it. Hallelujah. As for me, I am particularly interceding for those who have been seeing the webs, the spider webs. Of course, I'm interceding for those who've seen other things, but especially spiders and spider webs. Me know witchcraft. Me know some kind of witchcraft. And if it's not a witchcraft, it's some kind of craft. Hallelujah. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and through his blood, we have power to tread upon every craft. Hallelujah. We have power to, hallelujah, trample upon. Hallelujah. Everything that composes and comprises the crafts of the enemy. Hallelujah. So as your hands are stretched, let us begin to pray. If you want to listen to me and you pray according to how I am praying, fine. But make sure your mouths are not closed. Open up your mouths. And as I lead... You may follow in the Holy Ghost. If I say car or cat or bat, whatever you've been seeing, you point out that thing. You call the name of that thing in its stead. In Jesus' name. Let's go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Right now, I locate by the fire and power of the living God. That mysterious spider web that the enemy has orchestrated, hallelujah, against my life, against my purpose, against my opportunities, against my breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that web that has been created by Jezebel, that web that has been created by some kind of mischievous spirit assigned to my life in this season in the name of Jesus assigned to hallelujah an oncoming blessing in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth right now by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah I command hallelujah those webs right now to be utterly torn down in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth wherever they are hanging right now in the spirit we reach them at their various heights right now and we pull down webs in the name of Jesus we pull down every corner hallelujah we pull down every attachment right now in the name of Jesus we pull them down now. We bring down their centers right now in the name of Jesus. We also command a crushing now of everything that is being used to support these demonic well or, or webs in the spirit in the name of Jesus. We call out demonic fences. We call out demonic gates. We call out demonic walls. Wherever the enemy has sought to get support from in order to sustain his web, in order to keep his web there, in the name of Jesus, we command, hallelujah, a shock to go forth in the spirit. Let there be a tremor in the spirit, a seismic shock in the realm of the spirit, a quake that cannot be measured on the Ritter scale in the name of Jesus. An 11 point something shake in the realm of the spirit so that everything the enemy has constructed to support this cobweb will begin to collapse in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We bring down walls. We bring down gates. We bring down corners now. We bring down pillars now. We bring them down in the mighty precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Pillars be brought down. 
columns be brought down in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, Father, we thank you right now that wherever those snares have been placed, Father, you know where they have been strategically positioned before us, Lord. We ask that your fire will begin to locate those strategic points where those snares have been set up, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we bind the strong man guarding these demonic, hallelujah, operations and manifestations. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we issue an arrest warrant right now for the strong man overseeing these demonic operations in the spirit. We bind those strong men right now with chains and fetters of steel in the name of Jesus. Let the arrows of the Lord right now begin to be launched against every strong man. Hallelujah. Watching over these snares that have been, hallelujah, constituted against our purpose, against our promotion, against our graduation, against our acceleration. In the name of Jesus, we bind the strong men assigned right now. We remove their evil armors right now in the name of Jesus. We cancel the assignment given to them by their master Satan right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We rip up the contract that was signed in the demonic kingdom right now in the name of Jesus. We set every documentation that was given to Satan, giving him any legal right to block us. We set them on fire right now in the spirit, in the name of Jesus. We command a spiritual eraser to begin to find our names on those parchment papers on which they were written by some kind of sorcerer or a wizard or witch somewhere. And we command that that supernatural eraser, hallelujah, begin to erase our names, our date of birth, our location, our address, hallelujah, from those evil parchment papers right now. In the name of Jesus, let there be a divine eraser right now. Now. Let there be a divine blotting out right now. As long as our names are affixed to these documents and papers in the spirit, we command a divine removal by the spirit and power of the living God. We access right now the keys responsible for opening up these doors that Satan has seemingly shut before us. And these doors that as a result of them being locked in front of us are seeing us having to start over processes that people have long gone through and ended. But we are still stuck at stage one and step one. The devil is a liar. The blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth now. Begin to speak on our behalf right now. Begin to raise up a standard of deliverance and access even as you did at the cross. When the blood was shed, access was granted. The veil of the temple rented. We command access to be granted to our breakthroughs right now. Access to be granted to our deliverance right now. Access to be granted to our healing right now. Access to be granted to our approvals right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, you said you are the Alpha and the Omega. You open doors that no man can shut. And you shut doors that no man can open. Let the door opening anointing be released upon us now. Let the door opening anointing be released upon the keys you are releasing in our hands now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We find specific keys now in the spirit. The key to opening that interview 
Somebody who is, who is waiting for an immigration interview. We find the key to opening that door now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody who is waiting to be accepted at a university somewhere right now. We find that specific key in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. A child of God who's waiting for a loan to be approved. We locate that key right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. A child of God who's looking for a new apartment. We release the key right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. A child of God who wants a certain vehicle. Because the vehicle is perfect for the purpose. In the name of Jesus, we access that specific key right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The, the key to getting that business place, that location, that one. Not anyone, but that one, that specific one. On that street. Hallelujah. At that spot, that one. I'm not talking about the others that are available. I'm not interested in those. I need this one, that one. I, in the name of Jesus Christ, touch and agree with your faith. And I access that specific key. That specific key. Because we're opening it now. We're opening up the lock for which it was made right now. We command a divine breach of every law, breach of every evil legislation imposed in the spirit that has seen these doors being locked and locked for years. We command in the name of Jesus a divine breach of all those laws that are holding these locked doors together. Shekayama, Sinda, Shukura, Kataya. We unlock doors now in the name of Jesus. Wherever there are doors preventing us from colliding with our breakthroughs. Preventing us from colliding with those things that are due to be released in our lives at this time. Wherever there is a door separating us in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And with the power of his blood that speaks volumes. We say unto you the only door that we recognize in our lives is Jesus Christ who is the door and because we know that he is the good shepherd who lays down his life at the door so that the sheep can pass over with ease we now speak to all these locked doors in the power of Christ and we command that you be unlocked now in the mighty name of Jesus there is a man somewhere who as you listen to these prayers and as you set your heart to receive Christ, there's something that is breaking on your behalf tonight. I don't know if you were here listening to my testimony or rather my dream experience. Because it's not so much a testimony, it's more like a dream that I shared with you. Which has inspired me to do this prayer. If you haven't heard what I referred to earlier, just go back to it when I'm through with the broadcast. Those of you who are watching on TikTok, you can always go over to my YouTube channel to hear what I said or my Facebook page. Shadeen Angvin is the name of the Facebook page. Just go to www.facebook.com forward slash Shadeen Anglin or YouTube. Now to you, sir. As you listen and as you set your heart to follow Christ, there is a cycle of 
going the long way, a cycle of being delayed that you have been facing for years now. That Jesus Christ through his spirit is bringing to an end tonight. I'm speaking to a man. You know who you are. You're always having to take the long route. Whereas other people have gotten through with this thing in five months for you is five years. And it's always been like this. No matter how much you try, no matter how many people you know, no matter how many questions you ask, you're always being brought in a circle by the devil himself. But tonight, as you choose Jesus in your heart, this is not something you have said to any person next to you. You're being convicted and you're resolving in your heart to yield to Jesus. That cycle, that cycle of being delayed is ending right now, is breaking right now. And there are some things that are overdue in your life. Am I speaking to an Ian tonight as well? There's somebody called Ian. Ian, you've been waiting on some things to be approved, sir. I feel the power of the Holy Spirit just now. And Ian, the Lord is going to show you, hallelujah, that he is enough for you. And has been trying to tell you this all along, but you wouldn't hear. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I break every power that causes delay in this man's life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak to the root of the pattern that causes delays. In the name of Jesus, I speak to the root and source of the cycle that sees him being delayed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And with the same power, hallelujah, with which he spoke to the fig tree, commanding it to be dried up and it obeyed. I command the source of your delays in the spirit to in this hour of prayer, dry up and die right now. Dry up now. Dry up now. Become famished now. In the name of Jesus, begin to starve now. In the name of Jesus, Begin to lose water now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Become waterless right now in the spirit. In the name of Jesus. Be without charge. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be without signal. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be without network. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I cancel you now. In the root, in the root, in the mighty precious name of Jesus, enough is enough. Whoever that man is, including Ian, I loose you in this area in the name of Jesus. The other day I was praying for some people to be employed. And in that broadcast, I found myself praying for people who had relatives or friends in prison or people who needed to go to court for whatever reason. And I remember in that specific prayer, how many of you were here? I was calling forth some phone calls to come. We called for calls to come through from employers and we called forth email responses text message responses, and sure enough, I've gotten them testimonies. Amen? Now, I'm feeling led to command something to come through for Ian right now. 
It's something for which he's been waiting a long time. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, I'm going to call it forth for him right now. In Jesus' name. I just need one person to stand in agreement with me. For where two of us touch and agree on anything on earth, it shall. It shall. Not might. Not perhaps. Not maybe. But it shall. Shall. Be done. Now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. For Ian, the Holy Spirit is telling me something. I'm getting that you probably filed for some divorce, but it's like the divorce is not finalized. You've been putting this a long time ago, but it's, it's just there. You can't fully move on with your life because this divorce is not concluded yet. You're not sure why it's taking so long. So that's one. But there's also something that needs to come to you that is being withheld. The Bible tells us about a time when a message was supposed to come to God's servant, Daniel. And the word of God says that his message was withheld in the heavens by the prince of Persia. Persia was the name of the kingdom that was ruling at the time. And the, the fact that there was a prince of Persia represented by a demonic power makes us know that Satan has strategically appointed demonic spirits and powers to every position Hallelujah, and administration that there is when it comes to government and when it comes to countries too. If there are kings and queens and princesses in countries, in the spirit, Satan has matched up these positions and people with a demonic spirit. So to every prince, there is a prince in the spirit. To every princess, there is a princess to match her in the spirit. To every king, there is a king in the spirit to match him. I don't know what the name of your community is. Of course, we cannot call for the prince of Persia to be bound because there is no Persia anymore. But where do you live, sir? Do you live in Virginia? Then we need to bind up the prince of Virginia. Do you live in Massachusetts? Then we need to bind up the prince of Massachusetts. There's something that is due to be released. But it's being bombarded right now. Lift up your hand, sir. Lift your hand. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We're following the instruction that was given to Daniel by the angel. The angel charged Daniel to pray. Noting that when he returns, he's going to now have to fight against the Grecian power. So coming, he had to deal with the power that ruled over Persia. Going, he's now having to face the power that ruled Greece. But as Daniel prayed, his prayers caused his own message to come through. Prayers have the power of causing that release in the spirit. Prayers have the power to cause whatever messages are withheld for you, whatever answers, whatever clarity is there to be released into your spirit. Prayers can release them. Is there a dream that you're trying to remember, that you're trying so hard to remember, but you can't, and you know there's something significant about the dream? I wonder if there's a power that has held on to it. 
I wonder if we pray, if we could release it. Because perhaps it's in the palm of an evil power. Maybe in that dream, there was an answer you've been waiting for. Perhaps if you would have gotten that dream right and the interpretation right, you wouldn't need to continue with any fasting because God would have placed the answer and the key in the dream. Raise your hands now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, right now we command a divine interception now of every power that has come to intercept your messages of every power that has come to intercept your breakthroughs. Whatever power has been sent to oppose your opportunities in the name of Jesus Christ, we wage war against these powers in prayer right now. We command treasures that have been taken, hallelujah, into the hands of principalities and powers, princes and princesses in the spirit. We command that they be retrieved right now. Treasures with answers. Treasures with opportunities. Treasures with contracts. Hallelujah. Treasures that have. Hallelujah. Somebody's employment in there. Treasures that have. Somebody's approval in there. Treasures that have. Somebody's interview in there. Hallelujah. We command that they be released right now in the name of Jesus. We demand their release by force in the mighty name of Jesus. We present the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth at those sites of confrontation in the spirit. And we command the blood of Jesus to be made alive right now, defending our righteous cause. Hallelujah. Let the blood of Jesus Christ become flesh right now at the sight of the warfare, at the sight of the confrontation right now. We command a treading upon right now in the spirit. Every serpent, every scorpion, every power of the enemy, every power that operates in the air, every power that operates in the sea and any domain that exists in the name of Jesus. We command a divine release right now of everything that is due unto Ian right now in the name of Jesus. We lift every pressure of documents due. Hallelujah. We lift every weight placed. Hallelujah. On interviews that are due in the name of Jesus. And we call the thing done by faith. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me see those of you who want to say yes to Jesus Christ this evening. You want to give him your heart? You want to serve him? You want to be satisfied with long life? You want to be a trailblazer for Jesus? You know you are a purpose child? You know that you are not just ordinary, but that you are extraordinary and that you need Jesus to take this extraordinariness out of you? Do you want to say yes to him tonight? Please repeat after me, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I surrender my heart to you. Forgive me of all my sins and my unrighteousness. Cleanse me of all the things I've said and done that were displeasing to you. Wherever I have allowed my body to be defiled, I ask that you, Jehovah Mekodeshkem, the one who sanctifies, will sanctify me. I confess with my whole heart right now that Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he's son of the living God. He died for my sins so that I might live and have life more abundantly. 
I choose him today as my Lord and Savior. I choose life. I choose Jesus. And as many of you who can get your water baptisms, please make sure you become aligned to a ministry that believes in the Holy Spirit. Become aligned with a ministry that teaches sound doctrine. Become aligned with a ministry that carries the presence of God. Get your water baptism. Now, just a gentle reminder for those of you who are watching for the first time. Remember that there's going to be, hallelujah, a glorious, powerful, hallelujah, eruption in the Holy Ghost on Friday, April 14 in Yonkers, New York. It's our final stop for healing and deliverance in New York for now. And we're not going to be able to come to Jersey anytime soon or Maryland or Connecticut anytime soon. So we're asking those folks to make sure you make it a date with the Holy Ghost because there is a woman who has a spirit husband who is going to be delivered on Friday. There's a man who has a spirit wife who is going to be delivered on Friday. There's a woman with a demonic pregnancy that is going to experience deliverance on Friday. There are some people with cancers who are going to be healed on Friday. There are some people currently confined to wheelchairs who are going to walk again by faith on Friday. There are some people who have been warning the baptism of the Holy Ghost who will be baptized on Friday. Hallelujah. The Lord has an appointment with you. If you're living in New York, make sure you come. The exact address is Castle Royal. Royal is spelt, spelt rather with an E at the end. 92 Waverly Street, Yonkers, New York. Book signing will occur between 6 and 7 p.m. The main worship experience will get started at 7. That's April 14, Friday coming. Now I heard that someone turned up at the location yesterday I want to meet that person you know so when you come to the event on Friday I want you to come to the table and say Shadeen I'm the person who thought the service was last week but was told it's the 14th I want to meet you something tells me that you are desperate for your healing I want to personally lay hands on you when you come on Friday I cannot wait all right and then at Yonkers, I will be announcing by the grace of God where our next stop will be. And I'm sure you can't wait. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember, this broadcast is streamed every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday at 7.30 p.m. Jamaica time, which is same as 8.30 p.m. New York time. If you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you hop over there and you hit that subscription button. Those of you who are watching on TikTok, I know that you're not able to see the live broadcasts after they're done for whatever reason, but you know you can find them by going to my Facebook page and that's going to www.facebook.com forward slash Shadeen Anglin or by going to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Shadeen Anglin. Make sure you're turning on your notification bells because that's the only way you'll know when we are live. And just a gentle reminder before I go, I need those people who want to volunteer at the Yonkers Encounter to send a WhatsApp message to 876-319-5163 and make sure you type volunteer in uppercase letters so that I might identify your messages easily. Those of you who want to sponsor the event, of course we do. We welcome your sponsorship. You may go to shadeenanglin.org. It's expensive, yeah. If the Lord put it in your heart, yes, we need. We need your help. So shadeenanglin.org is where you can go to release whatever God has put in your heart. And just a reminder, those of you who have envelopes for the ministry on Friday, you may drop them off. And of course, we'll pray over those. Uh, there's something else. But we will see each other tomorrow. All right. Remember to hit subscribe, hit share, hit like.
turn on your notification bells. See you tomorrow, Sunday, at 8.30 p.m. New York time. God bless you, everyone. Volunteers, I really need to hear from you ASAP, okay? God bless you. See you soon. Remember that on Friday, you'll be able to get your No Weapon t-shirts and your anointing oils. All those things that you see on the website will be there at your disposal. All right? Blessings to you, everyone. Have a wonderful evening. Remember, I love you, but the Lord loves you way more than I do. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth, son of the living God. He's the one who was and is and is to come. He says, behold, I come quickly and my reward is with me. Are you ready for your reward? Remember, whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall reap. Be prepared for harvest. Whatever you've been planting, you're going to be re reaping it in abundance sooner than later. Blessings, everyone. Thank you so much. Can this person who is on the YouTube channel promoting lottery, can you please excuse yourself from that channel? I don't think this is the platform for you. Thank you so much. You've come as a distraction to rob the people of God. And we're asking that you just kindly go with your lottery promotions. Thank you. Blessings. Have a good night, everyone.